Hello guys and welcome to Disney Speedstorm. Uh, I've seen a lot of people struggling with basic mechanics of the game uh, during my live streams and uh, it's pretty understandable. This game is pretty complex. There's a lot of things that the game doesn't really explain well and I want to use this video to make a little tutorial on basic and advanced mechanics that can make you a better racer in Disney Speedstorm. If you're struggling to win battles, if you're stuck in, in certain events, this video might be helpful for you to unlock the full potential of your racer and uh, just be able to win races more consistently. So I'm going to be doing my dailies and while I do them, I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks on how to get faster and better in Disney Speedstorm. So we're going to start with the basics, with the most important, in my opinion, things, and then we're going to in the end cover a few uh interesting tricks that could that could be considered advanced i guess uh i'm just gonna literally jump into the battle and uh into the race and we're gonna talk about a few mechanics so first of all as soon as the race starts there is one nice little thing that you can do to get yourself uh g give yourself a little speed boost right off the bat and it's a little mini game where you need to basically place your boost right into this uh, green, bright green area on the map and uh, on the circle. And it's going to give you a speed boost in the beginning. Honestly, it's not important. It doesn't really matter because of the rubber banding in the game. Your, your start literally doesn't matter. It's not going to give you any advantage in my experience. So don't worry about it. But it's, it, it feels nice to be one of the fastest ones to take off. Next thing is dashing. In my opinion, the most important mechanic in this game is dashing. So when you're passing somebody, always dash into them, no matter which class you are. Dashing can be performed with the right thumbstick if you're on a controller or with arrow keys if you're on a keyboard. Basically, when you're passing somebody, just use your right stick to dash into them. Depending on your class, it's gonna have different effects. Also make sure not to dash into somebody who has a red glowing shield or fire on them. Basically, if you're a speedster, dashing into people will give you a speed boost. So you literally get faster. You literally get faster if you dash into somebody. If you're a brawler, dashing into somebody is gonna stun them and took them out of the fight for a couple of seconds, which could be very, very useful. If you're a trickster, dashing into people will confuse them. They're going to have their controls mirrored, like their screen mirrored, like, you know, the purple effect that you get sometimes. That's what's going to happen to your opponents. And even if it's uh, even if you're playing against AI, like against uh, bots, it still, like, makes them slower. That Like, computer ha can handle them being confused, even though technically you cannot confuse a bot, but st it still works. It still makes them uh, a little bit slower and bump into things more. And if you are a defender, bump uh, dashing into people is going to give you a uh, shield, which could be super useful if you're running through obstacles. If you are, uh, somebody tries to explode you, that shield is going to basically uh, absorb one explosion or one obstacle which is very very good in my opinion dashing is definitely the most important thing to do you should be dashing all the time no excuses whatsoever dash 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 every single time you pass somebody all right next let's talk about drifting Drifting in this game is very important. Every single class gains speed boost while drifting. And if you're a trickster, drifting is even more important because drifting will give you even more. It gives you like a double speed boost increase while you're drifting. So to drift, you just need to take a little bit wider turn than you normally would and then just hold the, uh, the left or right trigger. I mean left, left trigger on your controller. Just hold it while turning and you can actually keep your drift going for a while, even after you make the turn. Just make sure to release it if you're about to hit the wall. Like look, like right here, I can do drift here. 
I can do drift here. If you do it like every once in a while, it's gonna give you a nice little edge with having more boost, and it's gonna it's it's not really gonna slow you down much if you don't like don't overdo it. Like you can literally drift on every single turn, and you're gonna get some extra boost, which is very nice. Now, the drift boost. The drift boost is what you do when uh, you're drifting for a bit, and then you're. Uh, your car wheels starting to go to glow blue uh you could see it happen during my race uh like i think it it takes maybe two seconds of drifting and uh, once your uh one once your uh, wheels become glowing blue just hit the boost and you're gonna get a slight little tiny speed boost which is called drift boost uh it's very nice it gives you a little edge during your uh during your races Especially if it's a race against time, not against people, like you need to, to show the best time results. Uh, doing as many drift boosts as possible can increase your speed and overall decrease your time in the race. And also there's a lot of achievements and battle pass, uh, golden pass missions, uh, events where you are, where you need to do uh, drift boosts, like here, win and perform drift boosts four times. Uh, we, we just did this, which is amazing. All right, now let's talk about boost. There is uh, multiple ways to speed your character up during racing. The most simple one, like if you just simply accelerate. Uh, first of all, I highly recommend to turn on auto acceleration and turn off steering assist. I don't think steering assist is helpful. In fact, it can mess you up when there is a fork and you're trying to go one way, but steering assist decides to go an opposite way. You're just gonna run straight into the fork, which is not very fun. Auto acceleration, on the other hand, is very useful. It means even if you uh, let go of your uh, acceleration uh, stick, it's still gonna keep going forward, which is very nice. But you can actually give yourself a little speed boost. The most common way to give yourself a speed boost is to uh, just use your manual boost. Manual boost fills up from a few different things. Also, there are skills that can fill up your boost, like this one. Using the skill fills up my boost pretty nicely. Uh, so drifting fills up your manual boost. Uh, these little speed boosts on the ground, they don't fill up your manual boost, but they do give you like instant speed increase for a bit. Uh, you can also get speed boost from going on the slipstream, but make sure to balance on it. You can actually uh, clasp, uh, like use your left thumbstick to balance, and if you balance for a certain time, you get a nice, a decent increase in your manual boost. Uh, if you are, you also get speed boost from just following behind somebody. If you're in their slipstream, basically, if you look at my speed boost, if, if I'm behind somebody at a certain distance, I'm gonna start basically uh, getting their boost. I don't know what, what's a better way to to uh, to say it. And which second? It's fine. I, I wasn't even concentrating on the race. Basically, like distance about maybe 10, 15 feet behind somebody. If you're right behind them, you're gonna see your boost starting to fill up. That's called slipstream, and uh, it's very good way to uh, refill your boost. So if if you're behind somebody, try to stay right behind them. Don't be like to the right or to the left. Try to tail somebody until you get your boost and once you get your boost you can hit it and then go around the person in front of you that's a very nice way to gain a nice advantage in the battles another way to get a, a speed boost is to do aerial tricks every time there's a ramp and you go into the air press your square right away like immediately as your wheels leave the ground press the square your character is going to do a flip and you're going to get a little bit of manual boost people tell me i don't do this enough well I forget, but don't be like me. Do do things the smart way. All right, and this one we're gonna talk about uh, skills. Skills are very important. Skills can uh, help you eliminate other opponents. Skills can help you gain uh, advantage over your opponents, gain speed, confuse your enemies. There's a lot of different skills, and we're gonna make a whole separate video on uh, on skills. But I highly recommend. To use skills all the time as soon as you get well not as soon as you get but before there is another skill pad use your skills so you don't get wasted because if you don't use your skills 
and you run over another skill, uh, like skill pad. I don't know what it's called, like skill thingy. You will just waste the skill. You will not pick it up. So even if you, like, even if there is no good opportunity, for example, you're first, and you got, uh, you you got like a fire explosion, which you cannot reach anybody with. I I still say you should you should use it before you hit the next uh, boost pad, because then you'll be able to get something new, which potentially could be uh, a boost increase or something that's more useful. In my opinion, some of the best skills in this game are boost related. So if, if, you, got a, if you got a skill, don't just wait for half the race to use it. Always, always use it before you hit the next boost pad. Like, if you literally have a skill pending and you see a like the purple boost thingy in the... Uh, uh, did I say boost? Skill. Skill pad. Skill... Uh, whatever. Skill thingy. Purple thingy skills thingy. That's what I'm going to call it. If you see it in front of you and you have a skill ready, use it. Even if it's not going to hit anybody, use it. Because the next skill you can get is, uh, can be speed boost, which is, in my opinion, one of the best skills in the game. Uh, just recycle your skills even if there is no good use for them. That's just my advice how to get faster. Oh my god, I just got this garbage Sully to three stars. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Level 35. He's never going to be even at level 15. I, I don't want to invest anything into him. All right, a few bonus tips during the editing. Uh, first of all, make sure to use your best racer for the job. I understand you can enjoy certain racers more and sometimes it's okay if uh, like you're way over leveled it's okay to use lower level racer if it's still enough to beat if you enjoy them more but usually the way this game works the higher your level is the more the game is gonna let you win so try to have at least one character of high level in every class and every collection do not invest resources into multiple character inside one collection until you get at least one of them very high second of all slipstreams they can be dangerous they can be beneficial so if you have for example uh if you're especially if you're on a higher difficulty in the game try to be very careful with with uh the slipstreams because you can get if you get knocked off with any kind of skill uh, by the enemy from the slipstream, you're going to start from the very beginning of the uh, slipstream. So it, it could be very dangerous. Uh, next tip, when you're turning, there is usually, on the many occasions and many maps, there is ways to take a shortcut during the turn. And in a lot of cases, it's worth it, unless there is uh, like a skill pad or... Uh, a boost pad and you're a speedster. For speedsters, boost pads are way more effective than for anybody else because it also gives you a manual boost. So you will get this these clues from just playing the game. Uh, you, you will start to understand like where it's okay to take a shortcut during the turn, where it might be beneficial not to take a shortcut. Speaking of shortcuts, uh, every single map has multiple... Well, not every single, but like a lot of maps have secret turns that you can take to take a little bit of a shortcut every single shortcut actually has its own drawbacks for example if you take the longer way you might get more boosts or you might get more skills uh, on, on the road but the shortcut if you already have plenty of boost and uh, you're just trying to get as low time on the race as possible taking a shortcut could be useful the best way to find all the shortcuts is to just see what uh, other racers are doing and uh, a lot of times you can see them uh, just turn somewhere where you didn't even know you could go and you can explore that area next time you're in the race and see if the shortcut is even worth it also don't forget you can jump over obstacles you don't have to run into those uh, purple mist or trains or uh, furniture, you can always jump over them and it's really efficient. All right, this is pretty much it. This is all I got for you for today. Uh, I tried to go through the most of the basic mechanics. Once again, if you, if you don't wanna get into all the complicated stuff, three things that you should be doing all the time that has the most 
impact on your racing. Number one is dashing. Dash, dash, dash all the time. It's the easiest thing you can do to get the most benefit in the game. Number two, do not sit on your skills. Use them before you can you get a chance to pick up the next skill. The, the, the worst way to use the skill is to uh, not use it and waste potentially picking up even better skill. Third, drift. Drift a lot. Take shorter turns. Drifting will allow you to actually not lose speed off track. Like, for example, there are certain areas where, uh, like, for example, snowy area, when if you technically take a shorter turn, it's going to slow you down uh, compared to the road. Like, if you go through the snow, or through the red spikes or anything. But if you drift and if you use boost at the same time, like, it might be a smart idea to actually boost through those turns while drifting. It will not slow you down almost at all so that will save you lots of time during races dash drift use skills this is this is the basics this is gonna make your uh, much better racer and also make sure to know the characters that you're using go to your racer first of all make sure you have as many crew members uh equipped as you can afford they can boost your uh, stats uh by a decent amount and make sure you know the skills Check out the normal and charged version. Go through every single skill and try to find, uh, like, uh, basically you look at the normal and charged and try to figure out what's the best use case scenario for every skill. When do you need to charge it? When you don't need to charge it, especially your unique skill. You need to understand how it works because usually it's the most powerful skill a character has. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe not to miss future updates and huge thanks to all our supporters we have so many and i'm so grateful you guys are amazing a special thanks to natalie clark being our one and only demigod at the moment thank you so much natalie you're an absolute star uh we have a, a lot of amazing dreamlight heroes as well and uh so far we have no legends but it's okay i'm sure we're gonna get some at some point in the future I'll see you in the next one, have a wonderful day, and take care.